911.nes. In 2002, many CIA agents and important figures in the Pentagon were discussing about Al-Qaeda's motivation to attack the United States, specifically the World Trade Center in 2001. Many of them stated that Al-Qaeda acted with Bin Laden's command as he hates the United States, and that the Jihad and Islam religion were only an excuse to commit his misdeeds. A Microsoft Corp ex-employee states that the motivation for the attack was actually a video game. He said that he was fired because he tried to get a ROM from the game from the game for his computer and succeeded. Also, he told the CIA that an unknown man called into the company promising a good amount of money to Microsoft if they make an anti-American game and if they send it in NES cartridges in a time limit of four months. That was very strange to the ex-employee who wanted to stay anonymous, as the NES was obsolete since the end of the 80s and because Microsoft wasn't a video game developing company. Microsoft Windows imp Games employee in charge, Carl Schaefer, asked to his superiors to develop the video game. His request was approved and the video game creation began. Video games development lasted just three weeks and neither had problems marketing the games in NS NES cartridges. The ex-employee told the CIA about what he knew about the video game was that it was a kind of flying simulator game and lacked decent sound. He commented that he heard people screaming in the video game. The scream sounded while static sounded in the background. He added that the screaming sounded too real to be an 8-bit sound. About gameplay, he commented that he never knew about the game's objective. Also, he told that it lacks a scoreboard and either had a multiplayer mode. In other words, the game didn't have nothing to make it attractive or fun. It is worth to mention that the game wasn't perfectly developed. As in the test NES console in the Microsoft Corp, the game froze up many times and glitched too much when booted up as if you took the cartridge without turning off the console, making it unplayable. The ex-employee commented that when he tried to play the ROM on his computer, just appeared strange numbers, with it being the game's inner code. He distinguished the numbers 9 and 11. Upon arriving at that, the office at Microsoft Corp, he was fired immediately. The only thing he could notice was that, apparently, the game was being marketed in Contra and Flintstones cartridges. At the end, both parts sealed the deal. Microsoft earned an amount of $500,000 and assuring that the game was running fine. After that day, Microsoft never knew again about the man and decided to stop talking about the subject. And when you ask about it to a Microsoft employee, he, she will say nothing. It was just a rumour and it is a lie. Maybe if you go to Pakistan someday, you will end up finding one of these garbages in an old man's garage. The end.